Becoming a famous rapper means you can afford a lifestyle that most people only dream about. But if you're not careful, you'll end up spending more on child support than drip. Today, we're breaking down the rappers with the most baby mamas. Lil Durk is one of the biggest rappers in the game, but he almost has as many kids as he does albums. He had his first baby with Nicole Cavone back in 2011, and as of now, he has six kids with five different baby mamas. According to one woman, Dirk actually has six baby mamas. Last year, a woman named Trayvana aired out Dirk for allegedly having a son with her and abandoning him. It's not clear if Dirk actually has a son with Trayvana, but now he's allegedly having issues with India too. Back in September, she tweeted, I'm a free agent, and rumors started flying that she broke up with Dirk. Then Dirk posted a selfie on his IG story and captions it with, That cat emoji mines forever. Welcome to death row. B but less than an hour later, India allegedly clapped back when she posted a cap emoji on her story. Dirk and India got engaged last year in the middle of his show, but now it looks like he's gonna have to go find a new baby mama again. Most of the time when rappers go on off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard, they'll come through by themselves or with a couple of homies. But Jay Fizzle made headlines when he showed up and did the show surrounded by over 30 women. Jay is young Dolph's cousin, and he came up in the streets too. When he was asked what the toughest part of getting into the rap game was, Jay said, learning street shit, you feel me? I got a lot of kids. I got like 14 plus up, and I'm so tied into the streets, this shit hard. Rumors say that he actually has 22 kids, and they're all with different baby mamas. But Jay says he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. He said, you want me to be real? Nah, I ain't done. It's really about as long as you take care of them. It's all good, so that don't even matter. I got the mothers and the babies. All of them got different mamas. I'm on some boss shit. Jay caught a lot of shade online for having so many kids with different women, but he clapped back on his IG story and wrote, some of you maggot ass funny as how y'all gonna have something to say about me and my 14 plus and your baby daddy got one child and ain't doing half the shit I do? Make it make sense, clown. None of the tracks off Jay's newest project have even hit a million plays on Spotify though, so he might wanna slow down on having kids until his career catches up. Lil Wayne has dated a lot of women over the course of his legendary career, and all four of his kids come from different baby mamas. He had his daughter Regine with his high school girlfriend Toya Johnson when Wayne was just 16. They tried to make it work and got married in 2004. But two years later, they called it quits and got divorced. He had a second child with a woman named Sarah Vivan in 2008. And one year later, he had a baby with an actress named Lauren London. Then, just a couple months later, he had his fourth child with Nivea. Wayne hasn't had too much drama when it comes to his baby mamas, and two of them even got close while they were both pregnant with his kids. Nivea and Lauren had their kids a couple months apart, and Nivea said she and I became very close, ironically, after Wayne and I decided to call it quits. I know that sounds weird, but we were two people going through something that was along the lines of humiliating. It felt like, who else could you share this oddly unique situation with? Wayne is pretty private when it comes to his kids, but it looks like he still has a good relationship with all his baby mama. He's even still friends with Toya Johnson, even though they divorced over 15 years ago. When it comes to having a bunch of kids with different women, Wayne has definitely handled the situation better than most rappers. Dr. Dre is a legend in the rap game, and apparently, he really wants to pass his legacy on. He had his first kid at 16, and over the years, the number has gone all the way up to nine children with six different baby mamas. Dre's first son, Curtis, was born in 1981, but he didn't even meet his dad until he was 20 years old. Even though Dre didn't stick around to be his dad, Curtis and him made up and formed a relationship later on. His relationship with his second kid is more complicated. Dre had his daughter Latanya with Lisa Johnson in 1983, and in 2020, Latanya said she had been estranged from her dad for 17 years. According to her, Dre never even met her kids or helped them out with money. Apparently, she was blocked from contacting her own dad while she lived out of her car. Dre has a good relationship with some of his kids though, and in 2008, he tragically lost his 20-year-old son, Andre Young Jr. Dre and Andre were really close, but unfortunately, Andre suffered from drug abuse and died from an overdose of heroin and morphine. Hopefully, Dre and the rest of his kids can fix their relationships, because what's the point of having a big family if your own kids won't even talk to you? Nick Cannon has had a wild career. He blew up in the early 2000s as a rapper and actor, but now he's making headlines for having kids at a crazy pace. He was married to Mariah Carey for five years, and they had two kids together. But in 2020, it seems like his goal shifted to just having as many kids as possible. Cannon has had 10 kids with six different baby mamas, and he's expecting at least two more before 2022 is over. 
he started getting dragged online for having so many kids. But Cannon hopped on social media and wrote, As we all know, I am not easily triggered and have quite tough skin and have always been an open book, but not everyone in my family has that same level of strength. So I pray and ask others to please project all criticism and cynicism towards me and not the loving and precious mothers of my children. If you are truly concerned during this time of spiritual warfare, my inner struggles with self, mental wellness, and physical health concerns, just continue to pray for me and my entire family that God will grant us peace that surpasses all understanding. His baby mama, Brie Tiesi, was getting attacked on social media too. And she told Entertainment Tonight, when it first started happening, I was just like, I don't understand why everyone is so concerned. Like, why are you upset about what happens in my household? Nikki talks about getting a vasectomy at some point, but obviously he's been pushing it off. And apparently he really loves being a dad. He told People Magazine, I'm so excited about all my kids. Constantly, from every aspect of it, every day, I just wake up excited as a father. He's been trolled a lot over the past couple of years for having so many kids, but at least Cannon seems to be taking care of all of them instead of just abandoning them to their moms. Old Dirty Bastard is a legend in the rap game. He was one of the original members of the Wu-Tang Clan and nobody in the industry sounded like him. And even though he tragically died young back in 2004, he left behind a massive legacy. But while he was making a huge impact on the rap game, ODB was allegedly having kids with all kinds of women. Nobody knows exactly how many children he actually had, but rumors say it might have been more than 14. When he died, ODB's wife, Iceline Jones, tried to say he never had kids with other women. She told the New York Post, for the record, he only has three children. Nothing else was ever proven. There were never any blood tests or his signing any birth certificates. He has three children that we know that are his by his wife only, by me. According to most reports, ODB actually had seven kids, but unfortunately, he didn't leave a will behind when he died and Iceline Jones has tried to keep his other children from getting anything from his estate. What makes it even worse is that ODB allegedly wanted to divorce Iceline before he died. His manager told the Post, Dirty would be beyond upset by what is going on. If he could see this, he would say to me that I should have gotten him his divorce. He got out of jail and asked for three things. He wanted a record contract, a clothing line, and a divorce. I got him two out of the three before he died. Hopefully, ODB's other kids eventually get their fair share of the inheritance. Everyone who knew him said he loved his kids, and he would hate to know that any of them are struggling because Iceline wants to keep it all. Shawty Lowe was a major figure in Southern hip hop back in the 2000s. He tragically died in a car crash back in 2016, but he left behind 11 children from 10 different baby mamas to carry on his legacy. At one point, Shawty was supposed to actually have his own reality show about all the kids. Before the show was canceled, he told MTV why he had so many children. He said, I came to be one of the largest drug dealers to come from Atlanta, Bankhead area, and I started having kids. When the money came, a lot of women came. Once you feel like a girl was your girlfriend or whatever, the rubber probably came off. They wouldn't have an abortion. They used to take the money and run with it, and they'd have a baby by the most popular guy in the street. And that's how I had all them kids. A lot of people dragged Shawty for having so many kids, but he said, you can hate all you want to. I didn't ask for it, it just happened. Now that it happened, I'm supposed to turn my back against it? If I wasn't taking care of my kids, then you would really dog me out. But I'm taking care of my kids, providing for my family. I don't know what else to say. According to all of his kids, Shawty was a great dad and stayed in touch with all of them, which makes his death even more tragic. His daughter Brittany said, he always taught us to never quit on our dreams and to always make sure we got to school, finish high school, go to college, and make sure you focus on anything you want to achieve in life. Shawty Lowe was taken too soon, but at least his children loved him and will carry on his legacy now that he's gone.